Today let's take a look at the whites slider and what it does in Adobe Lightroom and how it can really help us get complete control over the brightest things in our photograph. Now, before you learn about whites, I would also recommend taking a look at the video I made on the blacks slider because whites and blacks are really opposites of each other, but what you learn in one slider can really be transferred over to the other one. So make sure you take a look at that as well. Now, what the white slider is gonna do, boils down very simply, it's going to adjust how bright you want the brightest thing in the photograph to be. So some images don't have anything that bright. They have maybe the brightest thing is a middle gray. Well, the whites slider is going to help you control that brightest thing and determine how bright or how dark you actually want it. Now, some images also will have very bright things like blown out whites, whites that have no detail. And in that case as well, the white slider is going to control those areas, lets you bring them back or lets you bump them up. So let's look at an example of that. Here's an image here of a waterfall. And we can see if we look at the histogram that I'm not quite a bright white. The water, the white of the water is not quite pure bright. So I might want to brighten it just a little bit to get it as close to pure white as possible without clipping. So what I'm gonna do is take that white slider up just a little bit. Now notice if I got up to like plus 35, if I go a little bit too far, it starts to clip and we start to lose information in the white areas. And we don't want that to happen because as soon as we do that, things will print a little bit strangely. It just looks weird to have things blown out in a photograph. So I'm gonna take it up, but I'm not gonna go that far. I'm gonna stop at maybe plus 25. And something like that, just a little bit extra. If I go here and look at the compare view, we can see that having that little bit of extra pop of white in the photograph really helps make the image look more properly exposed. Now in another example, here we have a shot of some white flowers. And I underexposed this image unintentionally in the camera. And what we can do is bring back that white of those flower petals using the whites slider. If we look at this image, nothing right now is white but we know that the whites slider is going to work with the brightest thing in the shot, which in this case is the bright white of the petals. I shouldn't say bright white, should be bright white, the bright gray of the petals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white slider and I'm gonna increase it and check out what happens. The white of those petals really starts to come out in the picture. Now, we don't wanna to go too far. If we get up to plus 75 or 80, we start getting to the point where we're losing information again. We're starting to clip the histogram starting to touch that right hand side. So we don't want to get to that point, but if we bring it up just a little bit, say plus 60, plus 70, something like that. If we look at the before and after, look at what a difference that makes. So whites gives us full control over how bright the brightest thing in the photograph is going to be. Now, like I said at the beginning, I think it's very important that you also accompany the whites slider with the blacks slider because the blacks is gonna help you determine how dark the darkest thing is. Together, those two sliders are essentially giving you a contrast control in your photograph. They're helping you determine how much contrast, that is, how much difference between the lightest thing and the darkest thing in the image do you actually want. So whites is a hugely powerful slider and gives you complete control over the brightest things in your photograph.